AMD versus Intel. I won't say AMD versus Intel. I'm just gonna say I'm be I'm gonna get straight to the point and say it's an A120 versus the 2500K. Why I chose the A120? Because everyone's bitching about it, and I think that chip's really good. I've seen the reviews. I know a lot of AMD guys hating on this chip because uh, and Intel guys, but mainly AMD guys are angry about this chip because it's not better than the Phenom 2. Obviously, it is, guys. It is. I think the chip's really good. Look, I, I'm, I live in the UK and I'm seeing the chip for 100 quid and you know 100 quid's really good guys for a good chip so and why I chose the 2500k to compete against the A120 because let's be honest the 2500k is just a daddy chip that chip is just <laughs> really good I'm gonna be honest that chip is really good guys so I thought let's do some benchmark tests but Apart from doing a benchmark test, we could compare the prices and see which one we should get. And this is, I'm recording this in like, one month is, I don't even know, one month is, I've been sleeping all these days, so, it's September guys, so, <laughs> yeah, September, you bastard. Yeah, anyway, I love September guys, if you are born in September, hello. Yeah, anyway, that was off topic, but yeah, um, why? We're gonna compare the prices and we're gonna compare the chips. So I'm gonna the winner is gonna be bang for the buck. So is it worth for me to pay hundred pound and get that A120 or pay the extra fifty pound and get the two five hundred K? I'm gonna be straight to the point guys. I'm gonna say look yeah if you already got a Intel chipset, whatever X seventy nine or whatever chip you got I wouldn't go to the bulldozer. I just upgrade to this, you know, because you got you got the eight three five always coming out soon, guys. Also, but do you know I'm gonna get off top. We're just gonna do an A one two O versus a fucking two five hundred K right now, guys. Right, more fucking now. And how we're we gonna do this more fucking test? I shouldn't swear, guys. It doesn't sue me. <laughs> Yeah, basically, before we start, before I tell you all this bullshit, guys, I'm just gonna get. Let's, let's you know what? I'm gonna get to the point now. That I'm gonna overclock the A120 at 4.5 gigahertz, guys, and the 2400K at 4.4. The overclock is gonna be done by the motor, obviously. You could do the bus speed, but let's not go into that. And for the AMD spec, basically, same shit, same RAM. We're gonna be using the 4 gigabyte G skills, 1600. DDR3 power supply unit thermal take top floor 1000 watts video card 69502 gb and obviously the difference is going to be CPU motherboard for the AMD spec we're going to use the Astrock 990 FX fatality board and for the Intel chip we're going to use the Astrock C768 Extreme 3 Gen 3 mode board and yeah guys so we're gonna record the best benchmark results and in one of the Sydney bench results I think it's for the 2500 k yeah it's two for the 2500 k it says that um, the clock speed is at 3.3 gigahertz so there's a screenshot included with the CPU-Z showing the clock speed at 4.4 gigahertz I'm really sorry about that don't know what was going on and you know check the benchmark results guys thank you
Truth's not So that's the end of the benchmark guys and from what I'm looking at the A12 is not much away from the 2500k guys and I would say yes the 2500k is a bad chip by looking at the benchmarks you can tell straight away in the gaming and it did always have the higher frame per second in most games but there were few one or two games that had you know not much away but I would say because we're comparing the price remember and the performance and I think the A1201 because I think it's not worth the extra £50 and you know if if the 2500k was a bit lower then the 2500k would have won but the A1201 won because it's like 110 quid and you know it was really it's just really good I think the A1202 is really good but I'm not saying the in the 2500k sucks because it's a good chip and if you guys really want performance then you know just go for the 2500k if you want but if I was you guys I'd go for the 2600k because that chip is fucking daddy I'll admit that chip is really good and with performance with that chip is just extraordinary guys it is really good there are better intel chips than these the 2600k but we're just doing a 2500k versus the 83120 I'm gonna say 8312 I mean the 8120 guys and there you have it guys bye